Now, men of God, lead us into prayer, and we hit we hit to 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 the first session. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, we sir. we may bow our heads and let's close our eyes. Ungulungulo moshe wetembegile uminati njalo ngumtogozis. Yes, Lord. Our souls they wash here. Our souls they wash there. Na se zinzulwin zopsu gusi tembewe na spege guwe ngabaye tumpeme wopepela. Eka menilga Jesus Christ was in Nazareth si biza we na ndala we nzugu si biza we na ngongoche. We ask you even this hour, even this moment, be with us. San Lasako, your grace, your mercy may be upon us. May you guide us, may you lead us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ and we ask you, Lord of grace and mercy, be with us. Sit magakule na single petina. Eka milga Jesu Christu. Amen. Amen and amen. We, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord for the prayer, men of God. Now, we, we, we're going to introduce once again another subject. Remember, the past couple of weeks, the bishop touched on the subject of prayer. And we also came in last week with the wiles of the devil. Because the church needs to be aware. We have been ignorant of the presence of the enemy in our life. And we bless the Lord for such a podium as this. One of the things that, men of God, we have seen in the church... The church has been introduced to the right doctrine, but the church has been introduced in a wrong way. Come on. And we continue to carry on the wrong teachings of a right doctrine. And the world ridicules the church because of we're holding on to something good, but we're holding it the wrong way. Yo. And, and I understand the subject that you are bringing today, the power. We're talking about the power today, mm. the secret of the power. Mm. One of the things that Paul says to the church, he says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes, sir. So whatever glory that we can ever yes, experience in life, it's hidden in Christ yes, Jesus. Sir. I, 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 I'm going to try not to restrain you by dialogue. Yes, sir. I need you to flow. I needed to flow in our first session. We have something like 30 minutes. And I needed to flow in that 30 minutes. Take us through the subject, men of God. If you do have any salutation, you need to take it home before you enter into the subject. The time is yours, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Maduna. Uh, let me take this opportunity um, and appreciate the bishop. Yes, sir. Who is a father to me. Who is um, a great man of God who has given us such platforms. Because in this generation, we need men of his caliber. Yes. Men yes. who believe in us, young generation. True. We've got a lot of fathers who, who are threatened by their sons. But we, we are blessed to have a father like Bishop Dununum Sibi. Yeah. Look at me today. I'm feeling, I'm trying to feel his shoes. Mm. Yeah. These shoes are huge. Sitting here uh, in his coach, where he's supposed to sit, is yeah. such a great honor. True. True, it, true. it is it is a privilege true. i don't have to say anything just to sit here and appear on his uh, on his channel is just such an honor true. who needs millions mm. who needs cars mm. when we've got such a father mm. i want us mm. to appreciate and honor yes. this man and salute him for yes. the great work for the platform that is giving to us we say bishop dununum sibi we love you, sir. We salute you. Thank you so much for the opportunity and for the time that you are giving to us. Thanks. So without any further waste of time, let, let us greet all the viewers, the supporters of this page, the followers of this page to say it's such a great honor for me to be in these shoes. Yes. And we'll try our level best. We, we may not compete. We cannot compete with the bishop. Sure. We'll do our level best to do justice to his shoes, to do justice to his show and make sure with the little bit that he has taught us yes. because we are who we are yes. because of this great man of God. And I believe the subject that we're going to tackle because these days we, we, I believe it's a, father, it's a father and son kind of a relationship. Yes. What do we learn from our fathers? What, what this generation lacks? We've got a lot of powerful young preachers, young preachers who are dynamic, mm. young preachers who, who preach with revelation, who, who, who preach with clarity. But there is something that is lacking, and it's something that I want to introduce, something that we have learned from the bishop himself. Yes. And these are the things, these are the secret of power. Because these days, um, um, there are a lot of things that are happening around. There's a lot of mimicking. There's a lot of, uh, of, of false power. Mm. People, Baham, Baba, people, they go extreme mm. just to seek for mm. power. They've got the content. They've yes. got all the good things to say. Mm. You put a young man in the pulpit, he will, he will speak 
mysteries mm. but there's no substance mm. and these are the mm. things that i want to talk about how can we be grounded especially we as the young generation there's a scripture that i want us to read it's mm. found in the book of matthew chapter uh, matthew chapter 7. Mm. it's one of the familiar scriptures that i want us to to tackle if you can read it for us matthew chapter 7 from verses 24 to verses 27. these are the words of jesus himself Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice. He hears the words and put them into practice. Yes. He hears the words and put them. And put them in. Not in, only hearing. No, no. Hear and, and put, put them into, into practice. practice. Yes, now, sir. we've got a lot of hearers of the word. Mm. But we've got few practices of the word. Mm. We've got a lot of people who listen to powerful preachers. Who listen to powerful men of God preaching the gospel. And they go excited with the word they've heard, mm. but few practices of the word. Mm. And the power, the power of God is bestowed upon those who practice the word. Because God does okay. not watch the, the hearers, mm. but he says, I watch my word to perform, to perform it. it. Yes. Now, we've got a lot of performers, mm. whereas God says, I don't need you to perform. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear my word, mm -hmm. then I, God, will perform my word. Mm. You don't have to perform my yes, word, yes. but me as God, mm. I watch my word. You, your responsibility is to hear and practice. practice. Then I, God, mm. perform will God. perform the word. So we've got a lot of generation mm. who, who are trying to play God, mm. who want to be the performers of the word. Mm. Whereas God says, I watch my word. Mm. Your responsibility is to practice the mm. word then i god i will perform the perform word. the word read on Yo. we are start, we are starting on a high step mm. let us continue practice is like a wise man who builds a house on a rock a wise man who builds a house on, on a, rock. a rock no now indirectly you, you don't realize because immediately when you start to practice the word mm. in the spiritual realm you may not see it with your eyes you are building mm. it's very important okay a lot of people don't understand that mystery that is found in the word of God. Because it is just like a tradition to go to church. It's like a tradition to go and listen to the man of God. But initially in the spiritual realm, if God can open our eyes, Bishop is the master of, of, of these teachings. If God can open our eyes and, and, and let's start to see what happens in the spiritual realm, that as soon as you take the word and you practice it, the Bible says it's like, because this is Jesus speaking, he says it's like a, it's like a man building upon the rock. Yes. So if, if, if you can ask people who are, con, who are in construction how hard it is to build on the rock. Mm. And he says now it's like a man who mm. builds on the rock. Mm. Now in the spiritual realm it means the day, the day you start to practice the word, you are building upon the rock. You are building upon the rock. You are building upon the rock. Mm. Now, that, that's the mystery because a lot of people, they expect to see things change mm. immediately in their lives. Whereas mm. they, don't, they don't understand that in the spiritual realm, the more you practice, you are building. Upon the rock. You are building. Mm. You are building. And, and it's huge because if mm. you can continue reading, I don't want mm. us to be caught up on this because mm. it's a mystery that people must, must catch. Mm. I know when we read this scripture, we rush the scripture. True. We rush on certain things, but there's a myth that Jesus says, it's like a man who builds on the rock. Mm. So, and notwithstanding, no, a rock, it's a, a rock, solid foundation. A rock, a rock man. Mm. Verse 25. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it has its foundation. On the rock. Now, the rain comes. Mm. Now, one of the mistakes that of people think is that when you practice the word, you stop the rain. Okay. Practicing okay. the word of God mm -hmm. does not stop the rain. There are rains of life that need to come. Mm -hmm. And you cannot pray them away. Mm -hmm. God says, I will allow those rains to come upon your life. You ask yourself, I'm a tighter, I go to church, I pray, I do the word, but why this storm still comes in my life? God says, I will leave the storm to come, mm. but I trust, not you, but I trust your practicing of the word. Because your practicing of the word qualifies you to build upon the rock. Mm. So it's not about you, 
It's not about anything else, but it's about you building upon the rock. So when you fight, you are not fighting, fighting the enemy, but your fight depends where have you been built and where have you building your life all these years. Read on. Verses 26. But everyone who hears these words of mine yes, and does not put them into practice. Now, the Bible gives us, it, it, it introduces us to another type of Christians. Mm. It is an obvious truth that Christians, pastors, we've been advocating for the open doors of our churches. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But it is my prayer that as soon as the doors are open, let's have more practices of the word yes. and less hear us only. Mm. Because the Bible says these two groups, they go to church. They go to church, mm. but what separates the two it's is practice. that practicing. Mm. Now, these ones, they hear, but they don't practice. Let's see. Does the rain mm. comes also? Mm. 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 Verse 26, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house on sand. Look now. The rain came down. It looks mm. now. Whether you hear and practice, you build. Mm -hmm. Whether you hear and don't you know, practice, you, you still build. Okay. Catch that. Mm -hmm. You hear, you practice, you, you build. build. You hear, you don't practice, you, you come build. to church, mm. the pastor prays for you, you build. But the difference is where do you build? From? Okay. So it means God does justice. He gives all of us the material to build, mm. which is his word. Mm. But now, when you don't practice his word, you are like a man who builds upon the sand mm. and the rain comes. Mm. And what is the difference? Mm. 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 The rain came down, the stream rose, yes, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. It fell with the great... There's some things that pastors cannot do. They can pray for you. They can be there for you. You may give your offering, you can do whatever. But there are certain storms that cannot be prayed away. Mm -hmm. They can only depend what type of a builder are you mm -hmm. or were you mm -hmm. when you're hearing the word. Because now, sometimes we need men of God to, to pray deliverance upon our lives or else we have failed in our part because we've got our part to play to be the builders. And when we build, we build upon the rock. So now, out of this, I want us to, 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 to lay a foundation on what we are going to present. Mm. How can you be a builder? Mm. How do I build my life? How do I build on a strong foundation? Mm. Because now, this generation needs people who will hear the word and practice the word. Mm. And what are the materials that are critically needed in terms of building, in order for you to build upon the rock. Mm. These are the things that we're going to talk about. Mm. The first one that I want us to talk about, um, the important, the very important one, it's one of the subjects, it's one of the key things. I'm not going to dwell much on, on, on it, but the bishop touched it on this one. He, very, he touched this subject, the importance of prayer. Sir. This generation, it is an honest truth. It is an honest truth. It is, it is, it is, it, it is a generation of information, mm. information technology. We are, we are going now to, to, to Fourth Industrial, Fourth Industrial Revolution. Revolution. It's mm. easy to access any information. Let me tell you something. I've seen young men. I've seen young men who are called by God, who've got all the power, the anointing upon their life. They've got information. Sometimes when you listen to them, you listen to them and you, you grasp the information. They've mm. got a lot of information, but the information is powerless. Mm. There's no power. Yeah. That is why this generation is a generation that we've got a lot of pastors who wear beautiful suits, they wear everything, but now the thing that they lack is power. Yeah. There's a lot of mimicking, yeah. there's a lot of, of, of twala. Yeah. You find a man of God like me, we have your twala, he travels different countries and all those things so that he can have power. Yeah. They've got information, but they don't have power. Yeah. But we are here to say power, it's found only when you have built your life on prayer. Yeah. This generation, especially young people, they, they are lazy to pray. You cannot download prayer. 
Okay. You cannot Google prayer. Okay. You cannot access prayer. You can copy the lifestyle of your pastor. You can copy a lifestyle of a preacher that you follow. You can copy his dress code. You can copy whatever the way he moves, the way he presents, the way he's so skillful when he presents his, his preaching and all those things. You can copy his word by word. You can listen to him the whole day and copy his sermon word by word, but you cannot copy the power and the grace that is upon on the man of God until you change your posture which is prayer mm. so the power that substantiate your calling yes sir begins yes with sir prayer. yes sir the only thing that this generation lacks is prayer we need young people who are going to be prayerful more than playerful they play too much they play on stage they play in our churches they've got beautiful voices they've got good gifts let me tell you they are so gifted they run with their gift but let me tell you something we are fighting in the spiritual yes. this realm there's there are a lot of things that are happening in the spiritual realm and they don't need your gimmicks they don't need your gift they need higher power and that power cannot be accessed in the waters cannot be accessed yeah. anywhere but this power can be found only Secret when you begin to pray one of the famous songs by the bishop secret place of prayer upgrading your prayer secret place of prayer mm. those those are songs these are the things that we have learned from the bishop uh, unfortunately some of us we, or fortunately enough some of us we, we we are the generation that was there before your facebook before your social media and all those things we know this man this man taught us how to pray. He taught us the importance of prayer. That is why this church is built on prayer. Mm -hmm. There's fasting and prayers. There's seven days of fasting yes. and prayer that is run by the mother bishop. There's different types of prayers that are done here. The bishop himself, he soaked in prayer. He, he prays his lifestyle. Yes, he got all the points. He says powerful things in terms of prayer. And those are the things that we are no more teaching. Mm -hmm. Churches are no more teaching the discipline of prayer. We are teaching everything. We are mm -hmm. Teaching everything how to cast out demons we teach the prophetic ministry but we have not taught the subject the importance of prayer it is time for this generation to go back to prayer it is my plea that as we understand as I'm talking representing that generation to say as a new generation let's go back to prayer because when we upgrade our prayer lives then God starts to move in our generation and in our season mm. the, the, listen patrons back at home there is there is a direction that God is taking us. God is taking us through a certain direction. Look, we cannot be talking about prayer, 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 prayer. There is something wrong with our prayer life. We need to fix this. Now, I was reading, I was reading through a material about the life of about the life of, of, of John. Yes, sir. The apostle. Yes, sir. One of the things that stood up for him was love. And until the church member says, no, this old man is wasting our time. Every time he takes the podium, he speaks about love. Yes, he speaks about love. Because he saw the necessity that there is a lack of love in the ministry. Yes, there sir. is a lack of love in the house of yes, God. Sir. So now God is taking us into a subject of prayer. If yes, you remember sir. from the very start of the lockdown church, yes, sir. we were talking about prayer. Yes, All sir. the ministers are talking about prayer. Yes, sir. Christians, child of God, everyone at home, as, as, as the, the apostle is talking about, there's, there's a lot of prayer that is necessary in the, in, in, in the Christian space. And we, um, it's, it's vacuum. It remains vacuum. Sir, how do we help a minister? Sure. How do we help a minister who is obviously gifted? And when he takes the podium, we see his gift. But his gift lacks the power, as you put it. Man, man of God, let's, let's look at Jesus. Mm. Jesus, Jesus did the greatest miracle that have ever been written in history. He raised the dead. He cast out demons, mm. legions of demons. Mm. The one that, 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 that makes me more, I see Ugvusa mm. Lazar. Okay, something else. But there was a time when Peter took out a sword and he cut hey. the ear of a man. An ear of not just a man. Yes. An ear of an enemy. Yes, sir. In the bay, I wear pants. Mm. But little people, Jesus Christ, why, why cook in the bay? Why we sell without a surgery? Mm. Without anything in the bay, the man did not even have a scar. Those are the types of miracles that Jesus did. There are miracles that he did with the, the people who had, had leprosy. Yes. Leprosy in those days, 
In the Bible, these 10 men, they were healed of leprosy. But the, the, the only one came back to Jesus. Mm. And mm. But this man, when he came back to Jesus, because mm. So you have been made whole. That's the power of the miracle of Jesus. But look at these disciples. But bones ongele mangu Jesus enzil. But mo basala pants basta diskuti. Ii pi secret ya lendot. Mo bad fa pe gabad no no no. Ii secret ya lendot ayiko ekipe na matimon. Ii secret ya lendot ayiko e propheten. Ii secret ya lendot ayiko e ta e guenzene zini zini. Ii secret ya lendot ayike singuen. Ii secret ya lendot ayike fusen mo bafle. But ii secret ya lendot ii semtana zoe. Mo ba uyasi ya lo babalo. Aham be psugu. Aham be emini. Aham be ngamasa. Singambon gutgupi. Si Jesus buya pati mbio tanas. Oti pati. About the Jesus Fundise, who keep a matimon. All these other things. Une kolo la malang. Une kolo es fundisa abantu kipa a matimon. Une kolo es fundisa abantu prophet. Une kolo es fundisa abantu zonge le mishobo shobo yesi into. Bukti wa healing school. I don't have any problem. But do we have a prayer school? Do we have abo koko abo zofundi sa abo makota banga ne ba fundi sukanda sa ngaba makota banga la malanga ba kaba nguti ndota ibanjwa izinzi po ibanjwa ma Brazilian munda be mule kan kune nde ba bin ndota shula yong kinto esem tanda swe when when we've got young girls who know the power of prayer aba so buye le mfitla ka lwen ba zuku kune zinye zinte ezinga lwa ubu ushe onga zilu pela ngo koka kate onga zilu kate ngo peka kate pote ebo peka ngate mo makota ba ngana but there is something that we are missing you are beautiful but you lack substance and that substance is only found in prayer yo yo spundi subtandas men of god we have five minutes we have five minutes spundi subtandas Ah, uh, I want to jump in. I want to jump in, but I, I'm not the center of attraction sure. today. But men of God, take us through. Take us through. How do you help somebody who has lost it? In he's hopeful as far as his prayer life is sure. concerned. Let's help such a person. I am hopeful as far as my prayer life is concerned. I am. I am. I am absolutely hopeful. I'm helpless. Now I need to revive. Me, I need to revive my gift. I need to revive everything about me. And now I understand sure. the first step is prayer. Yes, sir. But even when I kneel down to pray, there are no words that escape my mouth. Yes, sir. Help me there. Now, I think it's one of the misconceptions about prayer. It's, it's not how long. Yes. Two, it's not how eloquent you are. You know, Guna Banyabantu take bishop for instance you know sometimes when the bishop prays mm. it's like you can shut up and listen to him because the way he present his matter before god mm. he he knows where to put what when and how mm. 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 sometimes and it's like he's reading a script because we are as we begin the bayak but i've learned that now we are created by same God. Mm. Our assignment as the messengers of the gospel are not the same. Mm. Mm. You need to understand that Uguti, you, you may use your language because the power is not in English. Because English mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. But now, one thing that I've learned about prayer. Prayer, it's all about your heart heart laying your heart to god mm. and imagine when you lay your heart to god be honest with god mm. prayer it's it's prayer is not only in words but in the posture okay posture mm -hmm. posture of your heart mm -hmm. because we've i've seen people they still have pride hey I've seen people mm. about but But now the posture it's when God looks at your heart. Open, be be, be honest with God. Mm. In other words, immediately when you start to, to be honest with you, 
Be honest, be open with God, worshiping God, telling him who he is. And we can learn the art and the principles of prayer. On the prayer, the, the, the our father kind of prayer, it has a lot of lessons. Yeah. And But I know this is the subject that the bishop specializes. He knows how to break these things. Yeah. But what is very important, would he begin to start to pray? Depend on God. Mm. Prayer, prayer is a matter yes. of, I don't depend on my strength. Yes. I don't depend on my money. I've got my money. I've got all those things. I've got my security and all those things. But just to close, before you go to work, Father, in the name of Jesus, we, already you know. You know how to work. You've got all the power. But imagine when God says, this person depends on me, then I will show up upon his life. Mm. This person depends on me on everything. Whether you've got money, because no one doesn't man. They don't want to pray because it's easy for them to buy anything. Mm. But when you depend on God on your daily basis, you, 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 begin, you begin to... You begin to... Mm. Some of the prayers that he prayed, he prayed at Getzeman. In at Getzeman, he repeated words. Mm. Father, if this is possible, take mm. this cup away. Mm. For full hour. Turn us and turn us Baba, yes, ma'am. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, Father God, you hear me? Mm. Baba, I'm powerless. Mm. The son of God. Mm. He came at the altar, little papel, in your bezel, dropping like blood. Mm. Because he was in that tear, in, in that moment. His passion. But now we've got a mm. lot of people who are, who, who are too pompous. You want to pump Wabantu? You can sound good, Father God, in the name of... But pam wengos, pam wababa. Be, be a child before God. Stop becoming a man of God before God. Become a child of God before God. Because they want to be men of God before God. Be a man of God to your church. Be a man of God to your congregants. But when you come to God, come like a child. In simple terms, I can say that come as a child if you want to see God doing great things in your life. Study the child. How does he ask food from you as a father? Mm. How does a, a child ask him, be a child? F take that form of a child when you approach the throne of God. Then you'll see God. But Pam Gwabant, no more is God. Oh God, you can speak in tongues and do all those things. But when Umufia yes. Gunkulungu, I've seen Bishop cry. Mm. I've seen Bishop in that moment. Mm. I've seen Bishop worshiping Zeshi And that's the thing that I've learned from him. Mm. I'm, apart from all the eloquent words that he has, I've seen God, I've seen my bishop in a vulnerable state before God, mm. crying, crying, I call you bishop, this is the father that I want. Mm. He doesn't portray a picture to say, I'm powerful. Mm. He may be powerful before, before us, but when he comes before God, before God, he becomes a child. Mm. One of my very favorite scriptures is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 2, verses 2, verses 3, where he says, when I came to you, I came with much weakness, trembling, and fear, that I may present Christ as he is. Yes, sir. Now, we're reading from the book of Matthew chapter 7, and we're talking about, we're talking about two individuals. Yes, sir. Who have the same material to build whatever. Yes, sir. Whatever you can build, I can build. Yes, sir. But what separates you and me, it's where you are building yes, and sir. where I am building. Yes, sir. Because the rain will come. Will come. One way or the, the other. The winds will come. One way or the other. But what will make you to stand is because... You build on a foundation that is solid, being the rock. Yes, sir. And one of the things that, that will lead you to the direction is prayer. Yes, sir. Our time is up. Ladies and gentlemen, back at home, we're going to adjourn for our first session. Please join us in the next five minutes as the men of God will continue on the subject of the secret of the power of prayer and more. Because wherever God takes us, that's where we are going. God bless you. See you in the few. Mm-hmm. <laughs>